Hey guys, I was cleaning up the garage today and figured I'd do a quick video because I ran across some cables that were left over from a 60 amp charger upgrade project that I worked on a few weeks ago. And if you want to see a video on the 60 amp upgrade, let me know and uh, I'll be happy to put one together for you. Put that in the comments. But uh, I made the actual four gauge and two gauge cables using a the 10 lugs and cable that I got from Pacer Group and this hammer crimper that I got at uh, Northern Tool. It's about $20, and I wanted to see how it did. So it made really solid crimps that they felt good. They weren't loose at all. I actually clamped them to my welding table, pulled on them, and uh, just to make sure, because you don't want to have any kind of loose connection when you're talking about these size cables. So what I wanted to do, though, is cut one in half and see what it looks like after it's been crimped. So we're going to do that here live or uninterrupted so that you guys know there's no funny business. Here's the cable that I had um, made, one end, other end is unconnected. Had a little leftover cable and this was my practice lug on the um, negative cable. So I'm gonna go take this through the bandsaw and we're gonna see what it looks like. All right, and let's take a look. And what you can see is it appears to be one solid piece of metal at this point. And that's what the crimping process is supposed to do. It's supposed to crush all those individual strands down to where they become a solid piece. So this is the lug end. This is the cable itself that is crimped. And I think that looks pretty good. A lot of positive pressure that uh, gave me a fully seated cable and a completely crushed and unified band of, of copper strand there. So I'm going to call that a success and be really comfortable with the connections I made for the boat. So like I said, if you want to see the 60 amp charger upgrade, put, uh, put a comment down below, give me a thumbs up, and we'll try to do that for you.